Hey guys, Krista Marie Miller here with The Unpopular Opinion. I'm sitting here realizing that the two recaps I dropped the other day, my hair was blonde, rose gold, and it was a lot shorter. And yes, so if you guys know me, my hair is never the same color for more than a week. Um, it's never one color ever. So yeah, this is it. And I'm laughing at this because when I did the Jersey recap, I keep referencing the tagline that I'm not just great, I'm just Jersey. And I keep asking people in a poll, what the hell does that mean? Me being from Jersey, I should be able to explain it. And I couldn't. But as I'm sitting here looking at myself, <laughs> I'm laughing because this is it. I'm 44, guys. And I'm telling you how my hair is never one color. It's never the same color ever. I have tattoos and piercings everywhere. I don't always ever wear them. My makeup is over the top. My lipstick's usually lip linered on. My eyebrows are too much, my eyeliner's way too much, and I'm literally wearing a chain, and I have piercings up and down my ears, like I think I have five, five, and five, three, five, and three. Added up, I don't know, another thing I don't do math. Piercings, tattoos everywhere. Um, I'm loud, I'm obnoxious, <laughs> and I'm literally like lazy too. This seems a little lazy meaning like, I would should've edited that part out, I just hit the commercials, I should edit that out, and I won't, I'll leave it in. But yeah, so I guess when you want to say like, I'm just, I'm not great, I'm just Jersey. No, we're not really great. I'm grammatically fucked. Um, I probably still shop at Charlotte Russe. I mean, not even Charlotte Russe, Forever 21. Um, I'll never, <laughs> if you've ever seen the movie 40 or This is 40, I don't shop at like Jake and Jack and Jill and, and Ann Arbor, Harbor, whatever. See, don't even know the names, couldn't even tell you. Um, New York and Company, you think that was a store, you'll never see me shopping in there. Um, yeah, I wear ripped black jeans. I wear ripped jeans, period, or black. I wear nothing but black. Uh, probably you'll never see me in a dress unless it's a short black dress that I'm on a pole, to be honest. So yeah, I guess you could say that's what Jersey is. Um, and we over talk, we overshare. see? All right, if you guys watch, you'll know what I mean. So, with all that being said, I'm laughing at that because, okay, I realized I dropped a Jersey recap and I have to elaborate on the whole Louie thing. Now, I'm not saying what he did is, isn't is weird. I'm not saying it shouldn't be addressed. What I'm saying is, you're not going to come to my pool party and dog my man and, like, go around the room and talk shit on him and think that that's okay. That's not what you're going to do. And that's where my point is. Like, am I saying he shouldn't address it? He doesn't really owe you any fucking explanation, but nobody's going to stop talking about it until he does. So I suggest that Louie probably will walk into the pool party. I, I suggest he literally addresses everybody at once, let them air their grievances about this video that he put out. Now, let's just backtrack. Is it Scientology related? I do not know. I don't know where he was. I don't know what this retreat was. Seems a little um, sweat lodgy to me. I don't really know. Teresa is marrying the man. They live in a home together now. Joe Gorga has had to accept him. Um, now I do disagree with Joe Gorga at the pool party, bringing back up this argument that him and Teresa had the night before when Louie and him figured out their situation. Joe Gorga said something at a comedy show, basically that he misses Joe Judah, saying that Joe is better than Louie referencing bad he caught off guard i think you know that was resolved so joe bringing it back up at the pool party why are you doing that dude why are you doing that my man like joe Gorga, i'm on your side i'm on your side with the gia stuff um i don't think you need to take back what you said about joe judice i think that you guys just need to agree to move on um because it's true and you shouldn't have to take it back but um i wanted to go back to the louis thing and say that no i don't i think that it, do i think it's weird yes but who doesn't have weird shit in their past? Like, is it me? Maybe, maybe it's a Jersey thing. We all got weird shit going on. Like, do you want your deepest, darkest secrets out there? Unfortunately, the man did not know he was gonna be on a reality show two years before this. Um, unless you believe the, um, the sus way they met. And he might have known he was gonna be on the show, I'm not sure. Um, yes, I know I hear the rumors. I had, his company has something to do with the Genshaw stuff not really sure it's all blind item right now so i shouldn't even have brought that up but i guess we'll figure that out that's going to be another deep dive on how the hell does this have to do with jen shaw's case i don't know but um dolores and frank yeah i already talked about all this right 
Oh, the Margaret stuff. With her romanticizing everything. Like, her keeps saying that and romanticizing everything. Jennifer Aiden, that situation. Margaret is the one who brings up all of these things about Jennifer Aiden. She's the one that revealed this affair. Jennifer wanted it to go away. Yes. Did they realize they were going to be on a reality show five years down the line or ten years down the line? This happened ten years ago? No. Did she want it buried? Yes. Did she think it was going to come up? No. But it did. She addressed it. I think her and Bill are fine now. I don't, you know, of all people to bring this up, Marge, shh, just be quiet. Be quiet, Marge. Seriously. Because, listen, you romanticized your affair with Joe because he was your soulmate. You dignified, just like the words of Danielle Stubb, you dignified Jan with the divorce only four years later. Not cool. Not cool. So you really shouldn't be talking about anybody. So, yeah, um, I cannot wait to meet, literally, I cannot wait to meet Polly, Dolores' man. Um, you guys know I do live around here. So I could probably go meet him if I really wanted to, but I'm not, because Bravo won't allow it, because they have to let them, okay, now Bravo has to grant interviews. I'm not trying to interview anybody. I just want to sit down and have a talk with Frank and Dolores. I would like them to explain what Jersey means, what being Jersey means. Um, even though, like I said, I'm looking at myself and I'm laughing, and I guess that's what this means. It's weird. Like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So I'm rambling. Jersey style. All right, guys. Well, that's it for Jersey. I'm just going to attach this to the other Jersey stuff. And then I'm going to go into Married at First Light. Did I even start with that today? I don't know.